Hello Libra and welcome to your December 2018 mid-month check-in. This is for Libra. December 2018. If this resonates with you Libra, please like, share, and subscribe. And leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you, Libra, please check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign as this will not resonate with every Libra out there. Please keep in mind that some of these energies can be vice versa or interchangeable, so however, it resonates with you. And this is for Libra. For their mid-month check-in for December 2018. For Libra. Ooh, okay. Okay. All right. So at the bottom of the deck, we have a lot of confusion, um, illusion, delusion, right? <laughs> But this is somebody in the equation um, maybe having multiple options or maybe trying to make the best choice here. Somebody's got a choice here. Their emotions are, are, are all over the place. Um, and we don't want to make a bad choice here, right? We don't want to choose a snake. We want that cup of jewels right there, right? We want to make the best choice, not only for ourselves, but for everyone involved. This is the seven of cups here. This is water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Now keep in mind, it can be any sign that we're dealing with I'm, um, or you're dealing with. Um, I'm reading the energy of the cards. You know, it's a general reading. So the situation is a soulmate relationship, somebody that you feel very connected to, and they too feel very connected to you. Um, divine. It's divinely guided here, right? You see eye to eye with this person. You have a lot of things in common. You feel very comfortable with this person. It's a soulmate energy. Um, you want a relationship with this person, but right now there's a lot of confusion around it. Somebody has a choice to make. Somebody has a choice to make here, whether that's you or them. So, two of cups here, more water energy. The challenge. Somebody's up at night thinking about this. Somebody's very stressed out about what decision needs to be made here. Somebody's trying to make a decision, and somebody is waiting on a decision. Okay, now whoever's trying to make the decision, they are completely tore up about it. There's a lot of sleepless nights here. And then whoever is waiting for the decision, it's the same thing. Right? When is this going to happen? When is this uh, some this person going to choose? When is this decision going to be made? It's a lot of anxiety here, I feel, on both sides. A lot of stress, a lot of mental anguish, some sleepless nights here. Okay, this is known as the Nightmare card of the Tarot. Nine of Swords, this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And the advice is the High Priestess. Not everything is known here. Um, this could be like a secret, uh, hidden feelings, secret decisions trying to be made here. Do you see the two pillars? Okay. Um, but all in all, I feel like your advice, Libra, is to follow your intuition on this. The High Priestess is all about tapping into that higher power, that inner knowing. So what does your intuition tell you? What is that inner voice telling you here, Libra? Okay. The focus is the waiting knowing what you want and not being able to do anything about it. I feel like both of you are all up in your head about this. 
There's so much confusion surrounding this. Whatever this choice is, it could be a choice between, you know, two people. It could be a choice between uh, moving here or moving there. It could be a choice. There's a, a big time choice here. And I feel like, you know, again, one of you is waiting and the other one is trying to figure out the best way to move forward here, the best option. So right now, your focus, Libra, is to wait it out. Um, it's, it's a bit self-sacrificing, however, with the hangman here. You know what you want. Your head's all lit up. You know exactly what you want. But your hands are tied. You, there's nothing you can do but wait for whatever decision this is. You know, and this energy can be vice versa. The outcome is somebody is going to be at a crossroads here. Again with the two. You see the two here? And you see the two here, right? And you see the two here. Somebody is going to have to decide and start making plans to move forward here. The ball is in their court. A huge decision is going to be um, made here. Um, this is Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Please clarify the Two of Wands for Libra for their mid-month check-in, December 2018. Please clarify that Two of Wands. Yeah. Somebody's walls are way, way up here. Somebody's walls are way up. We have the wounded warrior here. This could be you. This could be the other person. Maybe trying to protect everything that they've worked for. Trying to protect what's theirs. Not showing a lot of emotion. I feel like they're being very guarded uh, with their emotion right now. And it's because they're, they're, they're like this. They're just all up in their head about the situation but all in all we have wish fulfillment here somebody's going to make a choice here somebody's going to make a choice and that wounded warrior libra this could be you this could be you you know you could be uh, defensive against this person you know why are you making me wait so long that kind of a thing so at the bottom of the deck, we have wish fulfillment here. So this person's going to open up to you emotionally, and you're going to open up to this person emotionally. Whatever decision is going to be made here, I feel like it's going to be in your favor. You're going to get wish fulfillment here, Libra. So if this is you, you know, try to um, kind of let your walls down. All right, so let's pull some romance angels here for you. This is for Libra for their mid-month check-in, December 2018. This is for Libra. What is going on with Libra? What is going on with Libra? December 2018 what is going on with Libra yeah so we have religious factors here your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual fat spiritual path so the first thing that came to mind is somebody in the equation may be already in a committed relationship maybe even a marriage and they're they're having to decide on what to do here um, there could be some big differences between the two of you, like age or culture or background, whatever the case may be, right? And we have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So this person's going to have to release something from his past and learn from it and, and move forward from it. This could be a person that you have already dealt with and, you know, maybe things happened between the two of you that were very hurtful. And um, this is why the Wounded Warrior is showing up here, this Nine of Wands. We're going to be forgiving. We're going to be um, learning 
from past mistakes. We're going to be releasing the past and we're going to be moving forward. Somebody is going on, somebody's choosing a new direction here. Somebody is going on a different path here at Libra. And whatever that path is, is going to lead to wish fulfillment here. I see a lot of um, healing, releasing, forgiving. Somebody needs to release some past situations. Your advice right now is to listen to your inner knowing. Listen to that inner voice that's, that's telling you that, you know, there's going to be some movement here. Okay. All right, Libra, that's what we have for your um, December mid-month check-in for 2018. I go live Sunday through Thursday with the daily message uh, around noon Eastern Standard Time. And then um, Friday is the live Love Luster Laws, also around noon Eastern Standard Time. We, um, I'm working on getting out next week the let's spy on your ex series and then after that i'm going to be doing a 2019 yearly forecast for everyone as a thanks to you and thank you to all my new subscribers new and old i appreciate you you have no idea how much i appreciate you <laughs> so thank you for tuning in and i have lots more stuff coming towards you you guys have a great week and take very good care of yourselves and God bless.